Hi friends, so let's do some analytics today. So let's see what we got. Today we are going to help ABC Data, a internet provider company which has been selling different plans uh, to the customers and we are going to help them uh, with their sales. So let's take a look at the data first. So what we got is uh, the sales data for uh, the addresses, the different plans, and the advertising channels through which the sales occurred. So the plans that these people have been uh, throwing uh, onto the customer is uh, 10, 40, 60, and unlimited ones. And the advertising channels uh, are as here. So we got some about seven to eight different advertising channels uh, through which these people have been uh, promoting their products. So, okay, let's see what we can do with this. So we uh, are supposed to help the marketing. We can suppo uh, supposedly help the marketing on the campaigns, and then we can also uh, help on the plans and the products. So this is the data for Australia. Uh, so let's take a look. So we start with uh, this creating some functions in R, what we are going to do is the idea is to translate these addresses into the geo coordinates and then capture the data first of all and, and, and then plot it on the map. So let's uh, see what, what I have done is created two functions which uh, returns their, their respective uh, latitudes and longitudes uh, for the specified address through the maps, uh, Google Maps API and we start with so the couple of things which uh, we can we have started to do is on the data munging part what we have uh, accomplished is uh, for the data uh, let's talk let's take a look at the csv uh, we have first of all for, for each of the record we have retrieved the longitudes and latitudes uh, first of all and uh, then eliminated the uh, non-applicable uh, or invalid records uh, for which uh, our function has not been able to retrieve the data uh, so there can this is because maybe there has been some typo because of which the api was not able to retrieve the data as we can see in this for this record uh, and, and likewise for will uh, for now on we will safely uh, exclude those columns from our analysis so our final data set after the elimination if you can see here uh, is about 1682 records and the unique plans and advertising channels so just let's just take a look at the data so we have about four different plans that are being sold and seven levels of different advertising channels okay and next what we do is this, this is the function which kind of uh, retrieves calls uh, this is the loop which calls the function and re retrieves its, its longitudes and lat latitudes uh, and then we have the final data which kind of after omitting our uh, not applicable date uh, records we, we retrieve this uh, now once we are done with this our data set has the cleaned data which we can work with now we are we're ready we're ready with the data now what we do is first of all plot them and see so let's say first what we are going to do is we are going to uh, work on the plan that the customers have purchased so far so let's plot them on the on the map of australia and, and then take a look so what we got here is the different plans of 10, 40, 60, and unlimited ones, and the different cities where they, the, each one of them were sold. We got Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, ACT, Sydney, and Brisbane, where different plans were sold. But this is this gives you a high level and uh, insight on where the sales occurred. Now let's also take a look at the different advertising channels and and how each one of them. Uh, occurred on the map so let's take a look at that as well and this gives you the advertising channels for the different locations uh, let's move on so this is uh, so far we have not accomplished much what we have done is simply just plotted all the sales on the map and sh you know shown it to you so it's, it's nothing nothing great here we start our analysis now let's pick a city let's pick Melbourne and uh, what I'm uh, going to do is 
all the latitudes and longitudes from Melbourne, I am going to retrieve, uh, let's say, 25 kilometers from the heart of the city, all the records uh, from, from the entire data, data set. So what I'm going to fetch is essentially the Melbourne and suburbs data and then work on work on them. So this is the, the, the code which kind of retrieves the data and, and puts it into a different data frame called MelData. And we got the Melbourne data here as of uh, now. So if I may, these are all the Melbourne and suburbs records that I have. Now let's plot the Melbourne data as well, first of all, and take a look for the plants that have been sold in Melbourne. Okay, so there you go. So what you see here is for Melbourne, what are the different plants uh, and where are where are the locations for each one of them uh, where they were kind of sold. So these the, each point here that we see are uh, actually the customers and the locations which uh, uh, purchased these, these plants and what were the preferences. So that's something that we see from the sales data. Next, let's try to take a look at the advertising data. So uh, just to caution, these are all all fictitious data. I, I This is nothing to do with any uh, real data. I've just kind of created them up. So there you go. These are all the advertising channels across Melbourne and, and then the people who have used it now. So far, we are, we are good. Now let's see what we can do with this. So what we're going to do is we are going to help. We are, we are going to work with the, with the sales data on the plan. The idea would be to create a model based on the K nearest neighbor approach, algorithm approach. And what we are going to do is based a, on, on, on the current data, we are going to uh, build a model which will predict for any incoming sales call, it is going to predict the kind of plan to help or, or to sell. Sell. So basically, if I make a call, the sales agent would know based on my geo coordinates, will be able to give me the right plan uh, based on the people around me, the preference of the people around me. So let's say five out uh, five people around me preferred closest to me preferred an unlimited plan so it makes sense sense for the sales uh, folks to kind of pitch that plan to me because you know birds of same same feather flocks together so so maybe my social status my finances are, are kind of same uh, because i stay in that locale so with that kind of a presumption we we, we move on this is a very very uh, uh, again, I would caution, this is a very fictitious data, so you might not get a very consistent result, but that would be the idea for me to build that model. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to apply K nearest neighbor for my machine to learn on the data and then come up with the model to predict. So what I'm trying, what I'm going to do here is I'm going uh, to take the Melbourne data and then I'm going to uh, work on the K nearest neighbor uh, for, for Melbourne. So the initial plan uh, would be to just work on the plan, the longitude and the latitudes. So these are the three important and the only uh, attributes that I would be picking up from the existing uh, Melbourne data. That is the data frame. So I work with them. Let's see. And then let's take a look at my KNNMEL. So I just got the different plans, the longitudes and the latitudes of the people who picked that plan. Now what I'm going to do is essentially what I have is, let's take a look at the number of records I have in my data set. So I have about a 191 record of sales for Melbourne. Uh, so out of them, I'm going to split my data set, uh, set into uh, train and test for building my model. So I create a new data frame, which has, uh, which is called KNN train. And I create uh, from the existing KNN Melbourne data. I pick records one to 170 and I pick the columns two and three. Two and three are nothing, nothing but the longitudes and the latitudes. Uh, and, and assign it to my train. I call it the KNN train. Likewise, I 
uh, assign the test from 70, 171 to 191 because I have got 191 records. Uh, so this would be my test data set and then the target is nothing but my plan. So I want, I want essentially I want to be able to predict the plan uh, that I want to determine. So uh, and then the target test target this is my test target for for the uh, the existing records and that's all so now i'll be using the required class and then i will be creating my model so this is essentially the knn uh, code for the model so it, it it picks the training data set the test data set and the class of the targets and the k value so i have Essentially, uh, you sh you know, the, the idea would be to get the square root of the number of records uh, and that value could be taken up as your uh, k uh, uh, nearest. So let's go with the 13 um, number and then let's try to run the model. So we're ready with the model and, and then this is this model is having your predictions. Uh, now what we come up with with the uh, is if with is the confusion matrix uh, so confusion matrix uh, would be able to give us the predictions and the accuracy of of the model against our test target against the existing test target let's let me uh, run this code and then explain it to you what it means like so this is the output of the of the confusion matrix what it says is uh, this was the model and these are the values that the mo that the model is about to predict and these are the actual test data so what you see here is the the diagonals present the the correctness of the model so you can see two uh, records which my model had predicted for 10 gb at 29 dollars uh, were correct because the target also had 10 gb for 29 dollars similarly one record for 40 gb at 59 dollars was correct and three uh, for 60 GB at $69 and one one was correct for 89 the rest of them uh, them on 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 uh, the uh, other part of the matrix are accurate uh, are actually the uh, inaccurate or uh, incorrect data so you, you have seen uh, that this model has one mistake on the uh, 40 GB uh, at 59 2 here for 60 and 2 here for uh, 40 as well so all of these in a, in a real world experience, what we would attempt is to bring a model which gives you all the zeros and only the diagonals to have the most of, of the efficient results. So uh, the idea here would be to get the right K to be able to predict the better value. So essentially this should be, uh, that would determine your accuracy of the model. Uh, now what I want to highlight here is since the uh, data is fictitious and I've kind, kind of created them myself, there are a lot of inaccuracies and hence you're getting uh, a lot of incorrect predictions here uh, and the model is not able to run. But in ideal world's world scenario, you'll see a pattern and you'll be able to get better results out of it. Uh, having said that, even though at the start of the uh, at the start of it, you get some of some of the models, some of the predictions to be incorrect, the machine or the model will learn. Which, I'm, which means that the incorrect record is fed in into the training data set and your model slowly but steadily kind of works up to a better score. That's how the machine learns. So that would be your, uh, your uh, accuracy improvement over a period of time uh, and then your model uh, comes up with a better prediction. So, so, so far what we have seen is with a simple data of, of, of the addresses of sales, we have been able to kind of come up with uh, our predictions when when ours when, when the when the company's sales representatives approach a customer they at least have an intuitive idea of what which, which plan to predict or, or which plan to pitch to the customer it, it's not just it's not vague uh, and it's not absolutely irrelevant or, or they are not giving uh, the customer uh, they're trying not throwing all the choices to the customer but they slightly have uh, an idea which which plan to predict which plan to approach to similarly for the marketing folks we could do the same thing on the advertising channels uh, or say a, a, a locality a south bank in melbourne prefers to go with the newspaper ads because most of the people use newspapers as the medium so you kind of get a trend out of it and you're able to uh, focus on the right marketing promotion campaigns to enhance your sales I hope kind of this video has added some sort of value 
uh, onto what we can achieve with these uh, kind of analytics and it may it and, I, and it will definitely help you guys uh, thank you for your time if you really uh, liked my video please subscribe to my channel and there will be more videos coming in soon thank you so much